All right, so <clears throat> here we are uh, with the next part of writing this essay. So, begin identical twin. Um, let's decide to focus on ch childhood. So, we're going to focus on childhood, teen years. Uh, I think it'd be pretty interesting. I think that most people are most interested in that time frame. So I'm going to focus on that as far as the structure of the essay. So we can cut this. And come down here. And actually, this would be set. I don't think I wrote this in my original years back, but that's more grammatically correct. There's one set in every 250 births. It's actually more colorful because, and it's more grammatically correct. Um, one set. So now it's like one set of what? You know, so I think, and then I think some people would think, oh yeah, he's going to talk about twins. He's going to talk about triplets. He's going to talk about, you know, uh, multiples. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be child teen. So then that changes our structure. Once you make that decision, that executive decision, that affects how we're going to structure it. So let's go here. So interesting anecdotes. So then let's do interesting anecdotes. And here can be, we can use a bunch. We can say, um, mom and family members would get us mixed up sometimes, which was pretty hilarious. Even at, you know, uh, so now I want to be as specific as I can. Being specific is, is crucial. So I think around 12. Um, and then as well, you know, funny, pithy story about who was born first. Because um, our, yeah, so we could get into that. Maybe we'll include it. Maybe we won't. Um, a biological dad thought it was me and my mom thought no said <laughs> My mom had us, so she knows. Um, and I, we, you know, I'm gonna throw all this out there because this is exactly, I'm writing about exactly where my brain would go and how I would think and how my process would be. So I might dump a whole bunch of stuff out on here that I don't even use. But I want you guys to literally, I wanna walk through these specific uh, essays um, and exactly go through how my brain would think and. You know, maybe there's some some interesting uh, tidbits and uh, sort of uh, processes or process uh, that might that might be of help. Um, and uh, but yeah, this is what I do. I just drop. So you want to drop a bunch of stuff out there. It's all about structure. I think structure is very important with regards to writing a high quality essay, and especially when it's, it's a topic because it's so huge. It's a huge topic. It's not like let's talk about you know, um, the theme of love in, you know, this book or this play, you know, cause then that, that's very finite. So I want to, I want to narrow it down. Um, but still this is kind of the fun, the fun part is, is, uh, brainstorming. So people get us mixed up. Okay. So now here's, so now let's talk about, um, test, um, take test. Do we, we ever take someone's test for us? Uh, you know, a girl, you know, we weren't like aggressive in terms of like the, you know, all we cared about was girls, but you know, it's still interesting. People will ask and it's, it's, uh, it's very interesting and, and funny. Um, you know, uh, et 
etc. So it's still something that we may or may not include. It's something that people would ask though. They'd be like, oh, did you ever, you know, you know, kiss this girl or, you know, uh, that your brother did? It's just, it's something that you have to, it's, it's obvious. It's, these are obvious, interesting questions that get asked. We might omit that. We might decide editorially to omit that completely and just, you know, keep it, keep it, uh, you know, focused on the other interesting stories that don't have to do with, with girls. Um, but yeah, uh, what else? Um, so teachers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, school plays. Something that people might not ask. We got we got into all the school plays. I think largely because of us being twins, and our director was pretty creative about it. Uh, director was creative about it. Um, so this is just a brainstorm. This is where we're, so then uh, do people get you mixed up still? Well, we're not talking about being an adult. We're just talking about childhood. What other interesting stories? Um, oh, uh, running and slamming heads. Uh, that happened. Um, what else? Oh yeah, um, fashion. So that's just a story that uh, I'll elaborate on. I don't need to explain every little thing. There's just little stories that I can we can we can include or we can not include. If we include it, then I'll, I'll thoroughly obviously write exactly what happened and explain all of that stuff. But so you want to think of anecdotes that are kind of funny. Um, you know, we were we were running. We were we put a soccer ball in the middle of our condominium, and I was on one side of the wall, one wall. And he was on the other side of the condominium wall, and we ran. We were trying to, whoever would take the ball out, right? Well, we're identical twins, so we ran pretty much the exact same speed, and we slammed heads. It was kind of funny looking back, but uh, it, it hurt. Um, and then fashion, you know, uh, your siblings probably won't harass you if you're not fashionable, but when you're an identical twin, it's a big deal, you know, so... I didn't always match. Uh, I didn't really care about fashion at all, but my uh, brother, you know, he was hilarious. He didn't want to walk to school with me if I didn't match. He's like, those shoes don't match your shirt. Like, it was really funny. Um, not calling you out, Chris. It's just, it, these are, this is funny. Um, that's a funny story, and I've got to include it. If I'm going to write an essay about being an identical twin, that's a funny story that I might include. Um, and he's like, I'm not going to walk to school with you if you're going to be dressed like that. I feel like if you were just regular siblings, you know, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal because, you know, you're your own person. But when you're an identical twin, you're so wrapped up. Um, and, uh, I guess, you know, getting in trouble, you know, um, how we were perceived, um, uh, as... Um, oftentimes as um, as one and the same um, not oftentimes but but uh, especially to outsiders like to, to people who are just um, not outsiders but um yeah just to outsiders or to, to people that may maybe uh, acquaintances but but not like good friends um, and then mom uh, called us the boys a lot. Um, so it's not complaining, it's just explaining. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's your identity is sort of wrapped up and if one, you know, brother is bad, you know, then it sort of looks bad for the other brother. But it's not always the same case. This is this is individual. It's like, you know, what, what person can speak about their entire demographic, whether it's their gender or their race or their... their uh, um, you know, being a twin, etc. You really can't. So I'm not going to speak for all twins, but this is just our experience, our anecdotal experience, um, being identical twins. Um, also, what else? Um, so stats on twins. Let's we can mention that. Yeah, the one one and two two fifty. Yeah, I looked it up. It's still still pretty accurate. Um, one and one fifty, one and two fifty in that range. Um, what about now? Well, we're not going to use that because we're focused on past tense, being kids. What percentage of our identity was wrapped up in being an identical twin to me to others? Yeah, so this is interesting. Um, 
I would say to me, maybe 50% to others, probably 80% plus. I mean, people, you know, or maybe that's my perception. I, I could be wrong. You know, um, we're all hypocrites and we're all myopic uh, at times. So this is just, you know, how, how I would think that maybe I was 50%, but to others, it was like, it was such a huge part of our identity um, being a twin. So if, if someone didn't like him, they didn't like me. Um, and if someone liked him, they usually liked me, uh, usually. Um, so it's it's sort of this tie, it's like this lock that people perceive you um, together. Now, you know, good friends obviously you can distinguish and, you know, they might like me more than him or vice versa, but um, from the outside, um, a lot of times you're lumped uh, together. So, and I'm sure if we were very different, like behaviorally or grades wise, we were extremely different, then it would have been, um, we would have been seen as a lot more individual, um, a lot more individually. Um, most interesting human story, I mentioned that, misconceptions, fertility drugs, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, so let's say uh, misconceptions. So, misconceptions. Um, misconceptions. <clears throat> so what would be some misconceptions? Um, that, that it's kind of fun. Uh, a lot, and that um, and that um, we're somehow valued more, but then we're not valued more as well. It's sort of I'm sure a lot of twins feel this way. You're valued more because you're seen more. People remember you more, but you're also not valued as much as an individual. Um, so it's interesting, like, my, like, might I mention that? Yeah, I guess possibly. This could be my perception. Again, I could be completely wrong and, and have a, a jaundiced view, um, but that's sort of how it feels. It's like you're, you're seen more, and so you might feel a bit more significant. Um, but, you as an individual might not be seen seen um, you know uh, as much as much or as accurately that's perhaps more important to distinguish or as accurately um, when compared you know, uh, uh, as compared, um, or as accurately as, uh, as if, um, you were not a twin, not a multiple or twin. <coughs> now my grammar might not always be perfect <coughs> when I'm doing brainstorming. <coughs> so that, that's okay. Um, I just get it all out there. It's kind of a brain dump. Uh, and then you go in when you write your essay and you make sure the grammar's fixed and you proofread and then you keep proofreading and yeah, so right now, if I miss some stuff, sorry about it. It's uh, it's sort of how my brain would, would work with this process. So um, I don't nitpick on 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 the, that stuff right now. This is just the, the brainstorming. I think this is a lot. I think this is a lot. Uh, this is really, I think this is really good. Um, yeah, I think this is a good start. And I really think that in terms of an essay, you know, easily I could write a, you know, three, four page essay, uh, with some of these stories. Um, and you know, there, there are other stories I can include, but I think that that's, that's plenty for right now. Um, I'm thinking about like sports. I'm thinking about, you know, entertainment. Um, I guess movies, you know, we, um, you know, our dreams and goals and, um, you know, that, that was sort of a big part of our identity where we were entertainers. Um, and we always we enjoy entertaining and lip syncs and stuff. Um, 
and we would like shoot movies and stuff <clears throat> um like little short movies i might mention it i might not mention it um but we we definitely uh took advantage of the fact that we were the same age and and all of that stuff and we, um yeah but i think this is plenty this is a good start um it might not be the most uh world changing essay but it's just an essay <clears throat> And uh, we will see each other in the next lecture.